Blessed Sunday, brothers and sisters in the Lord. May the spirit of Psalm 122.1 that says, I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Be our feelings as we come today in this holy hour of worship. Let us pray for God's presence. Let us prepare our hearts and minds to encounter God. Let us worship Him in spirit and in truth. O God of change and stillness, of wounds and repair, in You we find our sense of balance, a place to land and to breathe. May we grow our attention towards that which gives life and cultivate connections of community and care. May grace touch all that changes us and all that we hold and fold with peace. May we gather in this space claiming healing as our birthright and bring with us the medicines of service and compassion. On this Health and Human Service Sunday, let us come together to transform ourselves to transform the world. And move like living water, ever adapting, ever faithful, ever full of all that can be. Amen. A great flow of life who feels our inhale and exhale all in the same breath. Anchor us in your assurance. May our exhaustion collapse into your arms. To be held, to be lifted, to be known in our wholeness. May we rest in the alignment of this moment. In the abundance of you and our right to belong. O liberator of loneliness, who cuts down privilege, and you have shown us how. To be free is to be loved. Because there is strength in vulnerability and wisdom in intimacy. To be free is to be loved. As white blood cells rally to a cut and mushroom cleanse the forest ground. To be free is to be loved. Like the midwife catching a baby and a chaplain sitting vigil with a dying. To be free is to be loved. Because we are found in the web that lifts us, not the bootstraps that bind us down. To, to be, be free is to be loved. Where the city of God is irresistible and its sweetness of justice satisfies. To, to be, be free is to be loved. Because resurrections never go unwitnessed and they heal brokenhearted. To, to be, be free is to be loved. As species with needs and offerings, who give and receive alike. We are not meant to live this life alone. So let us hold fast to our God in between us. To the collective of care alongside us today. Amen.
We are too occupied with the world's view of accumulation and self-centeredness value. We forgot to recognize that we are no longer in command of our lives, but God does. Let us now confess our sins before God. Praise be to our Almighty God for this hour of blessedness. Whenever His people gather to worship Him, God is present. And whenever God is present, we can expect that our praises, prayers, and petition will be heard. Napasalamat tungod kay ang record of infections has decreased. Magbisantod, makadungo kita og mga balita ng mga pamilya, ng mga satop sa pamilya o sila tanan mismo, nagpakita og symptoms of infection sama sa fever o gubo o pa. At usab nga i-recognize ang pagtaas sa atong pagsabot on how we deal with this properly. Busa, let us follow the guideline for home quarantine procedure. Mamani ang i-endorse nga kung mahimo lang sa home quarantine, buhata. And always know and believe that your church is always praying for everybody, for your safety and well-being. Amo sa nag-i-ibanan, itong nagsaulog sa mga importante events, sama sa birthdays, wedding anniversaries, and other achievements sa pagpasalamat sa ginoo tungod sa blessing na inyong gi-enjoy karon. Mapuno unta ka mo sa kalipay, sa inyong mga kinabuhi, sa inyong mga adlaw. Huwag magpadayon ka mo sa paghimaya sa itong ginoo diha sa inyong mga buhaton, ipanghimo, o sa tanan nga aspeto sa inyong mga kinabuhi. Brothers and sisters, support our online activities. As of the moment, this is the single and doable activity we can have at this condition. We understand the limitations of this approach, but we firmly believe also that our online services and activities will have a good impact on our need to connect or to be connected sa atong brothers and sisters and to be spiritually nourished as we fellowship online and study together. Let me emphasize also that starting December and as of this time, we have ang atong itawag in person or face-to-face -to -face, face -face worship. So good sa alas Gs or isa lang, no? sa isa lang sa isa ka dunigo. Salamat sa inyong kanayon ng pag-support, pagpag-ampo alang sa tanan. Nining tumura at tundalo ng ato mga pag-ampo ng ato sa atong ginoon. Pag-ampo ta. Among Dios, o maluluyon ng amahan, nagpasalamat kami sa higayon ng kami karon na katigong Alang sa among tinguha nga makasimba kanimo ug maduol sa usa ka usa ug labaw na kanimo nga mao'y among magtatabang sa tanang panahon sa among mga kinabuhi Nalipay kami niini nga panagtigong 
Dili tungod kay puro maayo ang mga nahitabo sa among mga kinabuhi sa milabay nga mga adlaw. At unay kalipay ang among mga kasing-kasing kay bisan pa o mabugat, makasakit, makapaluya ang uban namo nga mga kasinatian. Tungod kay nasayod kami na pinaagi ni nga pagsimba, imo kaming panalanginan. Aron kung unsa man gani ang among mga suliran, kung unsa man ang among kasubot, o kabugat sa among ipangbati karon, nagtuo kami, nga imo kaming tagdon, imo kaming atimanon, imo kaming paminawon o glikunon, pinagi sa imong grasya o kalungoy. Adunay maayo mahitabo sa among panagtigom karon. Busa na kahiusa kami sa pag-ampo alang sa usag-usa ka namo karon. Sa magadala kami sa among mga pag-ampo alang sa among mga kaugalingon, amo usab nga gidala sa pag-ampo ang kahimtang sa among mga kaisunan. O kung mas dako pa kaayo ang ilang panginanglanon kaysa amo ang kahimtang, nag-ampo kami o Diyos, na unahon mo sila sa pagtagad o pagtabang. Busa ang mong yampo. Ngagatong adunay mga balatian, imo silang ayokon. Sangkapa sa mga pamaagi o sa imong kaluoy. Nga ilabina niya itong nibati o kakulang sa ilang mga material ng panginahanglan tungod sa kahimtang karun. Liguna ang mga panimalay na nagbangutan sama sa mga oy family. Sila sinungma, sinanghili o sa ilang mga kaigsunan tungod sa kamatayon sa ilang kamagulangan ng iksuon. Among pag-ampo ng imong ipabati ng anto kanila karon ang imong gugma o paglikon alang ni ini panahuna. Nagampo kami alang sa trabaho sa imong mga katawhan. Nagampo kami alang sa imong pagpanalangin at tumadunay mga plano alang sa ilang kalambuan ni ini ng mga panahon. Dasiga kanunay, kaming tanan, pinagi sa pagtabang sa imong Espiritu Santo. Labaw pa ni ini, nangamuyo kami na maundang naunta kini ng pandemya. Panalangini kanunay ang imong simbahan, ang mga magubuhat, ang mga local leaders o sa tanang mga sakop ni ini. Tabangi kami kanunay diha sa kaibalo alang sa pagpangalagad sa usag-usa na mahimong haong sa among kahintang karun. Sangkapa usab kaming tanan sa among ikinahanglan Aroon magpadayon ang among paghimo o pagtabang alang sa usag-usa. Nagtuo kami, nga ikaw karoon nagauban ka namong tanan, diha sa panimalay nga diin na dugtong pinaagi ni ni nga pagsimba. Nangamuyo ako, nga imong paminawon karon ang pag-ampo sa imong mga katawhan nga gihimo diha sa hilong. Among giyang po kini, pinagi sa ngala ni Jesus. Amen. Oh, my. 
Akong basahon, alam ka na ito karoon ang atong teksto nasa Luke 13.69 And it says Then he told this parable A man had a fig tree growing in his vineyard and he went to look for fruit on it but did not find any So he said to the man who took care of the vineyard For three years now, I've been coming to look for fruit on this fig tree and haven't found any. Cut it down. Why should it use up the soil? Sir, the man replied, leave it alone for one more year, and I'll dig around it and fertilize it. If it bears fruit next year, fine. If not, then cut it down. God's holy word. Usbon ko, mayong buntag na itong tanan. Happy Sunday everyone. And we hope nga ang ginoo gayod mag panalangin o ginautong ta nga sumala sa inyong ipaabot gikan sa atong pagsimba karon ihatag kini sa ginoo ka na itong tanan. Alang sa itong pagkumalanding, palamalandong, usugod ako sa pagpangutana ni ni. How positive are you when it comes to failures? I hope dili ni oxymoron. Can there be something positive out of frustrations and pain and failures? I believe this is what our text is trying to ask us and consider para sa atong pagtigom karon. How do we look at our failures positively? But before you seriously consider this question, let us first try to understand what is failure. What is a failure? How do we define it? I googled the word failure and I gathered this. Of course, it's a noun and it has three uh, important or meaning. First is lack of success like an economic policy that is doomed to failure synonym to this if we apply this to persons is that inotelang incompetent non-achiever or underachiever the other definition is the omission of expected or required action Ang synonym again ini is negligence, non-performance, neglect, or oversight. The absence of expected or omission of a required action. And third, the action or state of not functioning. Synonyms and is breakdown, cutting out, or breaking down. Nagtuko, kinitanan nga definition, present kinisya sa atong story. Nga naman, 
On the part of the owner, makaingon ko nga fill your siya sa iyang expectation of harvest. Frustrated siguro siya. Kay wala mo bunga ang iyang gitanom. Siguro nakaingon siya nga sayop siguro to nga liso or dili maayo nga kain sa liso. Sa part po sa caretaker, Failure siya kay basin ang iyang technique and maybe his attitude toward his word or responsibility wala makaproduce sa expected output. The effort is there, but somehow along the way, possibly something has changed or maybe something has been omitted. Depending on how you look at this story, what is clear is the endeavor, na, the planting, na, the nurturing of the tree, na. However, ang klaro din he, na ay failure, kay the absence of fruit. So now the question is. What is supposed to be done when there is a failure? Kung ay mga kapakyasan, mamang siguro ni sa Bisaya, or dili maayo ng resulta, or walay kalampusan, o walay agi, so may mga yung buhaton. But then again, before you answer that, let me share with you Two quotes you know, about failure. Ilang istorya mahitungod sa failure. Ang isa mingon, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. Ang nagsulti ni ini, si Thomas Edison. Before he perfected ang bulb, many tests or in divorce procedures prior to that fail ang isa po dingon niya success is not final failure is not fatal it is the courage to continue that counts success is not final Failure is not fatal. It is the courage that continue, to continue that comes. Ang nagsulti ni ini si Winston Churchill. So it's not really the experience of failure per se. It's how we look at them that matters. Or I would like to share with you my story or experience with my son when he was in his elementary years. One day, he came home excited, informing us that he got four correct answers. Lipay kay siya. Kakuha ko o upat ka-correct answers. Ako siya, ipangutana na yun. Pila man ang pangutana. He answered ten questions. Pulo ka pangutana, napay upat. Then, murag, inon talang nga ito, nga murag frustrated, talagang ko, ha? Mura na imong kuha? Four lang? Then, he replied, katunga sa among klase, zero. Zero ilang kuha, pero ako nagkakuha ang four. So, murag, kung ni Kalman, ni ingon na niya, kung sa may leksyon, Ana, ingon na siya, bahalag upat, Basta di zero. <laughs> Mga na na, di hakaroon. Kung mga egson, ang nakakuha og 4 points out of 10 is now serving as a policeman. Duha kapangutana ang akong gipropose karon alang sa atong pagpamalandong. How positive are we in dealing with our failures? And unsan man ato ang atong mga failures? And since these questions must be based on text, 
Where do we find the positiveness to failure in the story? What can we glean as a positive thing to do in dealing with our failures? Simple rani, ginagmay rani, dugang lang ni sa inyong natunana. First, I believe a good and healthy conversation of life stories helps. Makatabang kung adunay open, healthy, honest to goodness mias conversation of life stories. It could be both about success and failures. Aside from the original intention and obvious reason why Jesus shared this parable, of course the it was supposed to be for the leaders of the people of the Israel. Aside from that obvious reason is the fact that there was good interaction in the story. There is a good interaction between the owner and the caretaker in discussing what happened. The conversation involves not only about the expectation, but the effort of both the owner and the caretaker. What I'm trying to emphasize here is that you don't need to bear the failure on your own, and please don't. The application of this is that dili ni mo kinahanglan Nga pas ano ni mo tanan ang imong kapakyasan o ayaw na buhata. However, on the other hand, it is your choice. But I find it helpful, as I understand in the text, that if we can have someone that is with us, journeying with us in times when this kind of feeling comes to us. Makatabang yun. Kung naatay ka story, makatabang kung naatay ka uban. Para pag-share sa mga sugilanon, pagpagawas sa mga gibati. Actually, I think the owner could just cut the tree by his own, out of frustration or whatever. Kuhan lang siguro siya ka, sundang, yan na lang iputol ritso. Instead, he engaged the caretaker in a conversation about his disgust of not finding any fruit after all the care given to the tree. The caretaker asks for another chance, both for the tree and of himself. Ito bag po. Ito bag po ang caretaker. Ang ayaw siya of chance. Para sa kahoy, huwag sa iya mismo. He suggested even steps that might reverse the situation. And if ever this remedies, approaches, and time extension still won't work. Then he said, putlo na lang yan. Have you realized the implication of his petition? Kita ninyo ang obvious implications sa iyahang isulti? Yes. A failure can be reversed. A failure can be changed. A failure can be overcome. And sometimes failure can be a catalyst for new ideas in approaching a situation. Diba? Nakanauna siya. Why he did not dig around the tree and fertilize it in the first place. Anong gisuggest pa man yan sa dihang nakita sa tagiya ang white bunga? He could have thought of it in the first place, but he did not. Maybe he did not think of this, or maybe it slips his mind. Or maybe the approaches ngayang gihimo ka na ng butang wala maapil. Commission the idea came up during the time ng Adunay situation. The idea came up when the owner asked for results. So, 
inaotot ta. Ngayon, anao na ito pagdala ang atuang failures. The second important thing to understand is that there is no blaming here in the story. Walay litania. <laughs> Wala po'y si tawagan ni basul-basul. Yes, the story is about a tree that did not bear fruit, but the spirit of hopeless of hopefulness is there. It is not about hopelessness, but of possibilities. The discussion, of course, of course, mag pakita sa siya ang frustration. That's the scenario. <laughs> but the scenario presented possibilities. It talks about giving it some time. Tagayo sa panahon, ipasisono sa Digging holes around it. He talks about fertilizing the tree so it can grow fruit. Of course, the idea of cutting the tree is still there, but not until all remedies or steps are undertaken. You see, it's not hopeful. It creates possibilities. And no blaming. It's about taking the responsibility. I can never know what you have experienced in this difficult time. And of course, madumog ba nato sa radio, TV, o sa mga newspaper? I can only guess. But the only thing I can positively say is this. That failure is not a failure until you try every possible way to change it. It can only be considered as a failure. A failure good kung wa ni mo usba. Kung wa ka muhimo sa tanan, 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 out of your mind or from the suggestion of others about reversing the incident. And let me remind you, if you apply this in your life, And if it is God, or if it is your teacher, if it is your boss, if it is your partner, if it is your family members, nga naging on, wa man kay bunga, I expect na ang takay bunga, let me remind you that the owner agreed to the request. Because nagpakita kinisiya, nakita sa tag-iya the willingness on the part of the caretaker to give himself a chance and the tree as well. Kita, hindi kanan, demanding, of course, kay mo man, naging ay bar, ng ilang i-achieve. But it does not mean kung failure sila, imo silang idoot. Even bosses na to, naging na sila mga demands because na ay bar of excellence. Pero ang mayo nga boss, dili mo doot sa employer na failure. We encourage to reverse that. There are steps, approaches, remedies para mausap na siya. How much more? Iatong ni apply sa gino, which is actually ang gino, o ay gahatang ani nga parabol. Do you think ka na imuhang failures karoon? Nga sahay, na ulaw ka, na discourage ka, na immobilize ka or nawala ang imuhang positive outlook is real failure? No. The real failure is when you stop believing, when you give up, when, when you don't innovate, when you don't try other ways around the things you are doing. Thirdly, Jesus from time to time talks about a tree and the fruit. Sige siya istorya ni kahoy, bunga, like the vine and the fruit of the vine. And you know what? These are metaphors that refers to Israel. This metaphor refers to the Israelites, their connection and relationship with God. So kasabot na yun sila, sabot ipasabot kasabot ni ini. For us Gentiles, kita, 
What is it in this illustration that points us to what kind of fruit Jesus is referring we should bear? Kung sa aning nga context, the fruit is that nga, huwag mo mutuo. And ang mga Israelite kasabot tayo ni Ana. Pero ang sumang na bunga ang gusto ni kasabot ni Jesus para na ito karoon. How do we interpret this as Gentiles? Actually, silence Jesus. It's not Jesus who told us what. It is St. Paul's word. Si St. Paul mo ay naghatag na itong hint. Diha sa Galatians 2, 22, at Galatians 5, 22 to 23 naging on. But the fruit of the Spirit is, is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. 23, gentleness and self-control. Against such things, There is no law. I'm very sure we all know about this. We even memorize this. Most of us. So, kasabot tayo sa nabunga. But, let me just ask you this. Dili nga ko ni emphasize Okay, more money. But I will leave this. I will leave your question. I will ask you this. When do this fruit, Paul is referring to as fruit of the Spirit, becomes evident, necessary, and important? Can you say Every day? All the time? Season, remember, season. Consider this. Will you show the fruit of love? Because around you are people, you are easy. People around you are easy to love. Is that the kind of condition that demands fruit of love? Will you show the fruit of joy? When everything is going fine. Will you value peace because everything is calm? Will forbearance is needed or required during easy time? Will goodness or the fruit of goodness to be good? Is that magpakita ka ni ini ngadto sa mga tao imong ganahan nga pakitan? Is faithfulness required when all options are present to you and the choices are very easy? Will gentleness and self-control be exercised when you are in the company of people who are easy to be with and always agrees with you? I hope nakuha ninyo ang akong ipasabro. These fruits, you know, tamis, ginapakita, panahon sa kalisod. God will come from time to time, from different situations, to look for a fruit from the trees He planted, granting na kita ang kahon. I pray and I hope that when He comes, He is satisfied sa atong bunga. And if ever you doubt whether namunga baka or, or wala, successful baka, ana nga endeavor, know that God will always give us the time to be nurtured, to be fertilized, and be given the chance to grow and bear fruit. There is a caretaker who will give the tree a chance to bear fruit. You know, going to church to worship 
is one of those times na i-nurture ta, i-matututa, i-encourage ta, i-fertilize ka. Therefore, today, I am so glad and we are so happy that you join us today for worship. God bless you all. Amen. God has led us to this place to heal and inspire us, to gently redirect us until we see the world as God does and love it with God's love. With our gifts, we affirm that God's generosity can make us all into a new creation by the way we give of ourselves. Let us give our tithes, pledges, thanksgiving, and other offerings. Give of your best to the Master. Give of the strength of your youth. Throw your soul's dress flowing into the battle for truth. Jesus is in the inside. Let us pray. O God of loaves and fishes, of bread and of wine, we bring before you our diversity of gifts, knowing that they will be multiplied for the benefit of many. O God of resurrection, who makes all things new, accept our offering to both give and receive. Trusting that there is abundance in togetherness and generosity in you. Amen.
Salamat ginoo sa imong pagdasig sa among mga gipanghimo. Nasayod kami nga aduna kami gipanghimo nga nakapalipay kanimo. Aduna poy uban nga diin wala ikaw mahimuot. Nasayod kami nga adlaw-adlaw desisyon importante kaayo nga among pagkahimuon. Gusahay dili maayo ang among desisyon. Nagpasalamat kami, Ginoo. Ilabi na sa imong pagpasalig o pag-inkaris ka namong tanan. O ilabi na sa pipila ka namong karon. Ikaw mo ay nasayot, Ginoo. Someone among us is dealing with his or her failures and is looking for a chance to overcome them. I believe this message of hope is for that person. You intend that person to hear this parable to remind him the possibilities of overcoming failures in her or his life. A reminder also that you're always there in the process of growing. Akong giyam po, ngay ikaw magapanalangin ka namang tanan, gawata ang among mga requests, And pour your blessings upon all of us. We ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Beloveds, we have claimed our place in the ecosystem of the Spirit, alive, connected, and emergent with grace. Let us go forth from this fertile ground ripening the wisdom we have found through justice, care, and compassion. And so, may the blessing of our communal Creator replenish you today and always. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. <laughs>